Desmond Haynes, where are you? Desmond Haynes, where are you? Desmond Haynes hiding with West Indies World Cup squad. <laughs> what's up, viewers and subscribers? What's up, what's up, what's up? Fun and joke aside, my viewers and subscribers. I wonder when West Indies going to name that um, T20 World Cup squad. So, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about India. They named their T20 squad earlier today. Uh, one could say a pretty strong squad. Couple of guys that maybe we're expecting to get in. They are out or either on standby. So we're going to go through this India squad while we wait on the West Indies to come up with our squad. So goes without saying the captain Rohit Sharma is at top. Um, Rohit Sharma is there. And his vice captain KL, uh, KL Rahul. So Rohit Sharma and KL Rahul, they lead the pack. We have um, Virat Kohli, who is just coming back in form. One would say coming back in form at the right time. Right, so those three guys are there. So Rohit Sharma, KL Rahul, Virat Kohli, and we have Sir Kumar Yadav, another guy that is expected to do extremely well. Very, very talented, my peeps. You understand? Not very often we hear his name being called up there with the top, top, top guys where T20 cricket is concerned, but he's there. Um, they have Deepak Huda, another guy that is coming through that, um, you know, he's doing extremely well. Richard Pant goes without saying he's the first choice wicket keeper that will be doing some work with the bat at the back end for India. We have um, Hardik Pandya, another guy that is extremely good. I think he won the, the IPL the other day, I think his team was the team that won, captain in for the first time, leading his team to victory if I'm not um, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm mistaken, you can remind me in the comment section, guys. So he's there. Um, Dinesh Kartik squeezing himself in. Um, you know, quite a few persons probably would have th um, think that even before the, the last IPL that his career where T20 cricket was um, his concern was all over and done with especially with so many wicked keeper batsmen coming through for India but he is there my viewers and subscribers he has definitely done some work he has reinvented himself where T20 cricket is concerned and he has hitched a ride on that plane to Australia he will be the um, I don't want to say the backup or the second wicked keeper because it's a possibility that both of them him and Richard Pan might be playing in the same game so um, he is there my peeps they have Ashwin uh, we don't know Ashwin is very experienced, very reliable when it comes on to his off spin. Um, Yuvendra Chahal is there also. They have um, Axel Patel, another talented guy. Boomerah, who did not take part in the, in the Asian Cup ju that just concluded because of injury. So he is apparently fit and going to be ready to take it to the, play, um, to the other players. So he is there. Uh, Boomerah is there, my peeps. We have um, Bhavish Kumar is there also, Harshal Patel is there, and Ashdeep Singh. You know, I think there was an important um, game that Ashdeep Singh played the other day in the Asian Cup and dropped a, um, he actually dropped a catch and, you know, he was coming under a lot of criticism and people were saying, you know, this young man is extremely talented, so let us back him. He will definitely come good in more in, in, in other games for us. So he's in the squad and we have um so that is it my peeps that is it my viewers and subscribers the india squad you know Roy sharma um kl raul virat kohli sir kumar yadav richard pant um buddha pandya kartik all of these guys chahal ashdeep singh these guys are all players that would have done well in the ipl and in regular tournaments for india so they made it in no you would you would um, notice that two established names were not called um, Mohamed Shami and Ravindra Jadeja. No, their name was there on the list, but you know, it had an asterisk beside it, and the asterisk signifies that they are either on standby or injured, right? So, R R Ravindra Jadeja, as we know, um, he's currently recovering from injury so he's on he's there and standby i guess they can call him up if he's um fully fit and and, and thing in time so he's there and um mohammed shami as i said not sure if he's injured or he's just not being backed at the moment probably just on standby you know based on form i remember they were having an, a discussion the other day about 
um, whether or not they should drop Mohammed Shami or back him you know and quite a few persons even some English commentator, commentators were saying that Mohammed Shami is definitely not a man that you drop you understand you give him time to, to, to regain his form so those guys are on, on, on the wait list and Ishan Kishan another young talented player um, very inconsistent my viewers and subscribers a player that I really like he he was not selected either you understand and Chakavati was not selected so two players that were dominant in two IPLs two IPL ago two, two, the, not the last IPL season year before last right um, Chakavati and um, Ishan Kishan those guys performed okay reasonably well and you know they 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 got big money by in the last IPL but things did not work out too well for them at all Ishan Kishan I think was the most expensive where they spent all their money I think it was Mumbai Indian that invested majority of their spending for that um, for that window in Ishan Kishan and it didn't work out at all you understand so Ishan Kishan Chakavati those are two of the players um, that you know probably are going to be very very sad that they miss out based on um, the potential and based on how they would have performed a couple of ice IPL season ago right um, we also we also noticed that the young pacer that was that made his debut in the in the recently concluded IPL I think Maliki his name is he was also not considered he's pretty young my viewers and subscribers and you don't just want a reckless pace when you're going to a place like Australia you want peace with control you understand so he is not there yet so those are the players that India would have decided that they want to represent them at the upcoming T20 World Cup in um, Australia so yes my viewers and subscribers we are still keeping an eye out for this West Indies squad that is the squad that quite a few persons are waiting on to see believe it or not you know my viewers and subscribers the world is looking and the world is waiting to see um the type of the squad that West Indies is going to announce you understand the world is looking as i said the world is waiting because they know that we have quite a few players that if we select them those players can be match winners you understand but they know the issue that is going on between the board and the players people like Andre Russell, Sunil Narayan and, and Evan Lewis and these guys you know can be match winners um, all by themselves but as we know the situation is going on so people waiting to see whether or not, not only West Indians people from all over the world waiting to see what our squad is going to look like if we're going to name these players because they say all right if these people if some of these players get named then you know they might need to take us a little bit more seriously without those guys not saying that we can't do anything but people might not take us that um, too seriously which could work in our favor my viewers and subscribers but um as they say who lives the longest to the most so we will definitely wait and see um i'm not too sure we i'm not too sure how much longer they can wait because the squads are due maybe in the, by the next two days or so so um whatever it is that uh desmond haynes and his team is ironing out whatever the coach is ironing out they don't have much time to iron it out so the, it's inevitable that we are going to hear this squad and by the end of this week we are going to hear this squad so all those who postponing and, and waiting till last minute to see if they can squeeze in um, one or two people of one performance hoping that some of their favorite people put in one good performance in the CPL so they can select them um, it's not going to work it's not going to work as I said because I think the CPL is moving from St. Lucia now and a little break and then you know we we, we have to hear this squad so we're keeping a close ear my peeps but go and big up on yourself until later on just wanted to give you guys this one alright big up